For us, when we're competing for the Olympics, there's one race, it's a four year block. So you, you, you treat it as a four year season, effectively. It's just one block. And there's one race that you're going to get judged on, and that's the Olympic final. So our race was 2,000 metres, took about six minutes. And so that six minutes is the only six minutes that matters. You can win every other race in, over those four years, but lose that one and you failed. Whereas you can lose every other race and win that one and you've succeeded. So that race is a huge amount of pressure in there. And as opposed to football, rugby, cricket, and even cycling, that we race so little. We probably have five races a year. And so the rest of it is training. And you have the training program written on the wall and you have the choice of either just box ticking it or doing every session to the best of your ability. And for us, the only way we could guarantee winning at the Olympics was to make sure when we got there, our worst was better than anyone else's best. So even if we had, a, you can't guarantee you're going to have your best race on that day. You can do everything you can, but if you can guarantee your worst race is better than other people's best, you will win. And I think that's the, the mindset that we have within our training because you, you can't race yourself into form because there are not enough races. It's about doing it every day through the, through the long, dark winter months that's going to ultimately you know, make you enjoy your day in the sun. And that's the the sort of way you approach a long-term goal. You know, you may want to get there and you may be there and you're not going to do it in one one hop, but if you plot a series of steps on the way, you've got every chance of getting there. And you want to get to, to the Olympics or your pitch in business or, or whatever it is, that on that day, you don't want to have to do something you've never done before. You don't want to be sitting on the start thinking, I've got to break the world record today in order to win. You want to get there thinking, right, I've got to, you know, I know I've got it in the locker. You know, we in training, we broke the world record. I'm sure Usain Bolt has broke the world record in training prior to the Beijing Olympics. Everyone else goes, "That's amazing." He goes, well, "I ran faster than that a couple of weeks ago." You know, that's that's the difference. You just want to make sure you get your performance adequate, and if your adequate is better than everyone else's best, then you're in a good place.